I'm learning how to make a tutorial on Zoom. So hold on just a second. I'm going to pause this video. All right. I'm trying to make a tutorial in Zoom for the first time. So forgive me for any delays or any technological difficulties. All right, I am showing how to make notes, how to take notes for your I Am A Teacher project, okay? I am working on taking notes about zebras. So I've got my notebook ready, I wrote my title, uh, I'm a teacher project, and I'm reminding myself what I'm doing on this page, zebra notes. So I have a couple books, so I'm gonna be reading these books it's super important to put these in my own words, okay? I'm not just copying what is in the book. So it says stripes, stripes everywhere. It's hard to tell where one zebra ends and another begins. So I'm gonna take some notes. Zebras have stripes. Well, actually maybe I add some more information there. I'm gonna erase. Zebras have black and white stripes. I'm gonna keep reading. Now again, I wanna call attention to, I did not just copy the book, I put the idea in my own words. The stripes of zebras hide them in the dizzying herd. Oh yes, I know what that's called. When an animal is able to hide because of its pattern, it is called Camouflage. Okay, so again, I'm putting my notes in my own words. A hungry lion watching from the grass has a hard time picking out one animal to chase. Okay, camouflage helps the zebras hide, or I would say confuse. The predator, for example, I'm going to put in parentheses a lion. Now, you could just say hide or confuse from the lion or hide from the lion, confuse a lion, but I'm choosing to use other science words that I know, and one of those words is predator. Okay, so I wrote down everything actually that that book has, so I'm going to go on to another book. Here, this book is telling me more about zebras. Did you know that each zebra has its own stripe pattern? Like human fingerprints, no two are alike. So again, putting those in my own words. Uh, every, I'm gonna write this as a sentence. Every zebra has a unique pattern of stripes. All right, now as I'm taking notes, my goal is to have one complete page, or if you feel the need to keep writing more notes, you can have two pages, but you should not have any more than two pages of notes, okay? So that means when I get to the bottom of this page, okay, that means I'm done with my notes, with the notes part of this project, all right? I hope this tutorial has helped help you know how to take notes, be sure to put them in your own words. Until next time.